I knew I loved to draw. Um, I um, decided that maybe I could do like uh, land um, architecture or drafting, uh, you know, engineering drafting because it had to involve drawing, but it was a business uh, through school. And I made a big decision not to go to tech. We had this tech program that you could go to, uh, and that was it. Uh, the cl the only thing I could do there was landscape architecture. Perhaps get into that because the tech program was all about landscape, uh, working with plants and flowers and a greenhouse. And since I naturally knew how to do that, I grew up with it. Um, I was really nearly going to go that route, which would have changed my whole life. Uh, but I decided not to. And the next year I got on the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Arts, um, got accepted in that. And uh, from then on, I was set. I was going to be a fine artist. Uh, uh, well, I've been dabbling back and forth. Uh, most specifically at the moment I've been working in painting. Um, uh, I've been doing a combination of painting with a, there's some digital photography involved with it, um, the most recent stuff. Um, my work's always had a personal element to it um, ever since, uh, since high school even. I was more or less inspired by the things that were going on around me. Um, uh, uh, my dad, he, we, we struggled a lot because he had the flower shop, but he also had a 100-acre fruit farm. And it was a family business that was really quite overwhelming uh, because there was a lot of work to do. We had um, five, about four full-time employees plus um, about four or five migrant workers that would come up every summer. Um, all of that sort of affects you as you're a little kid. And... Um, uh, in a sense, I, I think people that have uh, problems and struggles when they're growing up, they tend to be more creative that way because of that. Uh, they find other outlets for it. Um, a lot of times, uh, certainly uh, if you're left at home alone, uh, you're there to cause trouble or uh, to get into, involved in something you know, personal. Um, my involvement was basically art. I learned to more enjoy life than actually care about money or um, uh, and because of that, I finally got to that point where I can kind of do that. <laughs> yep. uh, I, I more, uh, my time is more valuable than, say, uh, particular jobs that we, we do, in a sense, because my job, personally, is, is generally uh, making art.